<clears throat> so, David Liu today, it's Liu, right? Yes, it okay. is. Okay. <laughs> I mispronounced it when I, call, when I called you, but um, he's going to be performing an LT test today, and it's going to be a Fat Canada Protocol LT test, uh, which is basically looking for lactate balance points. He's going to be doing it on a stationary trainer here. Um, it's a Cyclops uh, power beam, and uh, it's a wireless unit. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take him up to about an eight or nine level of perceived exertion on his first ramp, uh, which is going to be going stair steps every minute uh, until he hits that eight or nine level. And then once we hit that eight or nine level, uh, we're going to bring him down about uh, 40 beats uh, per minute in terms of his heart rate. Um, find a baseline there, uh, watch his lactate clear. We're going to draw lactate at the eight or nine level, but then we're going to start drawing lactate on five minute intervals directly after that until we find his lactate balance point and watch his lactate concentrations go right back up. Um, and then once we see that spike, we know that we've basically gone into his LT. Um, so it'll make more sense in the end as we go through the test, but that's kind of the, the brief over overview of what we're going to do. Just a quick once over. But uh, he'll come out with a full range of uh, um, heart rate profiles and power profiles to be basically do his training the way he's supposed to on a daily basis. So uh, on the left hand side is the Lactate Pro which is the gold standard for measuring lactate concentrations. Um, if you're going to use one to do any lactate concentration testing this is probably the one that most people would want to use. It's the most accurate and been tested to be the most accurate. Um, and then we use a little mini Lancet device to apply a fin finger prick, a pin prick to the finger and then we draw blood. And then you use a small test strip to uh, they come in these little packets and then it just basically inserts into the lactate pro and that's when we draw uh, lactate and it measures the pH levels of the blood and that's how it basically determines your uh, your concentration of lactate um, changes the the uh, the color of the test strip on the inside and it measures that it's basing it off of a standard so um, and then we use the Cyclops power beam to do all the uh, power data measuring and it captures it and then we can download all that as well and look at the, uh, the power files. So both very useful devices. Okay, whenever you're ready, go ahead and start pedaling. We're going to show you heart rate and power and then you start the watch. Heart rate, up there. <laughs> you can go 2.5, that's fine. I'd say it's about 2.5. Try to just give it a 3, I think it's about a 3. About a 3? Yeah. Our rate is 109. Ready to go up? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Up to 140 watts. About 3. Alright. Ready to go up? Yeah. Our rate is 111. Go up to 160. 160 watts. Four. Four? Okay. Ready to go up? I guess so. Okay, here we go. 180. In retrospect, I barely even thought that there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I can take those tissues from you if you want. Let's see if it can uh, end. I'll see if it can end? Yeah. <laughs> is, this is this still adding a lot of resistance on there? Or is it it's it's just, um, I'm tanked. Yeah. You can go ahead and uh, you can stop pedaling now. <laughs> You're done. You're done, so. Um, and this is exactly what you know we would anticipate. And then um, we drew lactate at 171, which we pulled, which is 11.7 millimoles uh, per liter. And then after that, we took you at five minute intervals, brought you down to 160. Uh, you were at 170, so we dropped it about 40 beats, um, down 160 
60 watts. Um, so in reality though, your heart rate came down to about 136 and then we went up um, incrementally 20 watts until we hit a balance point which was right there around 7, 7.2 and you came back to 8.4 after we went up to 220. So from there I'll be able to plug it in and be able to get uh, some accurate numbers on, on where you fall. So let me. So you can see the first graph is just your linear progression of your heart rate in watts. Um, just a nice standard linear progression there. Uh, took you up to about an 8 or 9 level of perceived exertion. Then we drew your lactate concentrations which then um, this is the first read of lactate, which was at 11.7 uh, millimoles per liter. Um, and we watched you clear as we brought the intensity level down, all the way down to 9.2, and then you cleared even more, down to 7.0, and then you finally hit a lactate balance point where you leveled out at 7.0 to 7.2. And then after that, you went back up to 8.4, which is when we knew that you uh, actually hit your LT again. Um, which was in the, in the 220 range, 220 watts. So um, wattage isn't expressed in this particular graph, but I've got it on, on paper so I can actually marry it up together. Um, but this is how the, the lactate balance point is expressed in a graph. It's really cool. As you can see from the data, the information collected during this test allows me to have all the power and heart rate zones that I need for my training. Um, what, what this will allow me to do is train in a more efficient way and allow me to improve. As you can also see, um, this data will actually give me a power to weight ratio. When plotted against other uh, professional racers, you can see also where I stack up as well. Based on the information collected, where I stand in a power to weight ratio is generally between a category 4 and a category 5 racer. This type of fitness testing gives a more structured training program to those looking to race or for even those looking into triathlons. And, in addition, this data, paired with a power meter, will help me reach my racing goals for this season.